rattlesnakes, possibly the most iconic and most feared reptiles in North America. It's widely thought that a bite from these snakes is a guaranteed death sentence, and for that, many of these animals are killed on sight. But while everyone seems to have their own lore about rattlesnakes, what if I told you that everything you thought you knew about these creatures was wrong? If we're gonna look at rattlesnakes, the Western Diamondback is as good as it gets. The iconic symbol of the American West, this snake is so widespread and frequently encountered that it causes more snake bites than any other rattlesnake species, and consequently, more venomous snake-related deaths than any other in the country. People fear rattlesnakes because they're loud, they're big, they get the jump on you, and of course, they're dangerously venomous. There are people alive today who lived through a time or knew someone close to them who lived through a time where a rattlesnake bite was a death sentence. But that being said, are they something we still need to fear? I'm Spencer Hoffman, and I'm a biologist working to uncover the secrets of the natural world. All around us, unusual creatures are living out their hidden lives that most of us never see. But in the case of venomous snakes, when the secret world bleeds into ours, conflict ensues. My team and I are driving through southern Arizona on the hunt for these very reptiles because we're hoping to prove that while dangerously venomous, these snakes are in no way out to get humans. That is one special snake right there. This is considered a common one, but you know what? I'll take it. This is a western diamondback, probably the most iconic rattlesnake of North America in general, but especially the southwest. And these guys are one of the most successful species too. They are everywhere, which makes them a very, very dangerous snake. As you can see, he's, he's very, very unhappy because we had to move him off of the road here. This is a reasonably busy highway. If we had not moved him off the road, he could have been roadkill. Now, most people say, Spencer, that's a, that's a venomous snake. Let it die. But that's the whole point of a lot of these videos that I do is we don't want them to die. Venomous or not, these are important parts of our ecosystem. I always talk about this thing we have called the secret world. It's like a parallel universe that runs right alongside ours. And the thing is, most of the time, we just walk past it without even realizing. However, we do realize it's there when we come across some of its more charismatic denizens like a rattlesnake. These guys are hard to miss, and I could see why you'd be afraid of this snake. I mean, look at it. It's posturing up. It's rattling that tail. Oh yeah, and he's very aware. He is very, very aware. I bet if I hooked him, I bet he'd strike the hook. Let's have a look. This is not a happy snake right here. Very, 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 very stressed out. But I want to be very clear. This is not a mean animal. We have three people over on that side and one human right here. He is surrounded by heat sources that he knows are way too big to be prey. So he is scared for his life. For all he knows, this is a predation event. He thinks we're trying to eat him. Now, thankfully, I don't I don't eat snake. I don't, I don't know if you guys eat snake. I it tastes like chicken. I've tried it. It's pretty good. <laughs> okay, well, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> of course the Cajuns were just like, yeah! But the thing is, he thinks we're going to eat him. The reality is, we're actually going to move him off the road so he can go back to living his life and not be roadkill. But he thinks we're going to eat him, and he's fearful for his life. In the cases where snakes bite you, that's what's happening. I'm going to get flocked for this in the comments. I already know it. But if you are bitten by a venomous snake, you're probably at fault. These snakes are going to bite when they're stepped on, when they are messed with, right? We're all professionals. We've worked with, we've worked with venomous snakes for years. We know what we're doing. We know that I'm many feet back from this snake. I am still out of his strike range. And the biggest thing I talk about with venomous bites and venomous animals, if you are not within range of the anatomy that they would use to inject you with venom, whether it's a stinger, whether it's fangs, whatever it is, if you are not within range, there is no chance of you taking a bite. There is no chance Unless I do something really stupid right here, there is no chance that I take a bite from this snake. Rattlesnake bites are no joke. And unlike maybe some of the venomous spiders here in the US, if you're bitten by a rattlesnake, you're gonna know it. They strike with incredible force, driving those hinged fangs deep into their victims and pumping them full of hemotoxic venom. A rattlesnake bite is very, very painful and it's a medical emergency. There are definitely species here in the U.S. that are either not toxic enough or don't inject enough venom to likely kill you, but that doesn't mean that you can just ignore a rattlesnake bite if it happens. That venom gets to work quickly, 
breaking down the blood cells and eating away at the tissues it comes in contact with. Some rattlesnakes even have neurotoxic components to their venom, which will also start shutting down your central nervous system as it progresses through your body. Normally, this is meant to just completely disable and kill their prey, so they really don't want to waste it on humans. And let's face it, in a 1v1 with a rattlesnake, even if the snake got the bite on you first, you could still stomp the snake to death long before the venom claimed your life. At the end of the day, we're far more dangerous to these reptiles than they are to us, and we pose an even greater threat than you might realize. Our world is colliding with the world of venomous snakes. The further we develop, the more we invade territory that these reptiles have lived in for millions of years. They stay there their entire life, so. My team and I actually joined Brian Hughes from Rattlesnake Solutions on an actual rattlesnake relocation. The goal is to get them as far away from people as possible, but also into suitable habitat where they can actually survive. This is hard enough as it is, but the problem is there's less and less suitable habitat. One of the snakes I've been looking for for years now and has been requested by many of you in the comments is the Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake. The problem is every time I've gone out, there's just no sign of them. And that's because the habitat they need to survive is shrinking with every passing year. I bet those of you who don't like snakes probably also don't like rats or mice getting into your house. Venomous or not, these snakes are important mid-tier predators that keep these rodent populations in check. And in turn, venomous snakes are food for a lot of other animals. All these creatures depend on each other in this interlaced web of survival. It's so complicated and so complex. If these snakes disappear forever, we don't know what our world will look like. Whether you like these venomous snakes or not, the fact that they've been here for millions of years is a testament to the fact that they actually have a role to play in the ecosystem. These animals are necessary. And if you take nothing else from this video, take this. No matter how dangerous you think a snake is, you are more dangerous to that snake than it could ever possibly be to you. If you give a snake its space, there is zero chance that you or anyone you love will be bitten. The rattlesnakes of Arizona are not the only ones that are seeing their habitat slowly but surely disappear. In the southeast, we're seeing the same exact thing, and one of the coolest and most unique rattlesnakes in the world is also disappearing forever. That rattlesnake is the pygmy rattlesnake, and it's a really fascinating creature that I actually got a chance to try and find. If you want to see that video, check it out right here. Hope to see you there, but until next time, don't forget to get outside and find your own adventure.